math gap guys welcome to today's video in which we're going to be talking about the basics of the number line its part how it works why is it useful before we begin the video guys it's pretty pretty helpful if you guys leave a like a comment that way i know that you guys are liking the videos and the content i'm putting up and also please please never forget to subscribe to the channel it really helps the community grow and without further ado let's begin Oh my god. Hello guys and welcome to today's video in which we're going to be talking about the number line. Let's begin. Have you ever wondered whether or not a number is positive or negative or how can you tell the difference if a number is higher or lower than another one? We're going to tackle that in this video. First of all, in order to understand the number line, we really have to dig deep and see the parts it consists of, right? So whenever we have a number line, we have a usually horizontal or vertical line. We're always going to have zero in the middle. And then we're going to have, if it's a horizontal line, we're going to have positive numbers to the right in increasing order. So zero, one, two three, four, five, and so on. And then to the left, you're gonna have them in descending order. So minus one, minus two, minus three, minus four, and so on. These lines right here just give you the idea that the numbers are actually going to continue until plus infinite and minus infinite, really big numbers. In the vertical line, the logic stays the same. So above the zero, we have one, two, three, and so on. And then down we have minus one, minus two, minus three, and so on. We have to remember guys, that numbers that are to the right are always going to be higher. And the same thing goes for numbers that are on the upper side or above another number. So let's say we have a number line and we write down, we write down zero, one, two, and three, and we have minus one, minus two, and minus three. We have to remember, if a number is placed to the right, that means that number is going to be higher than the one on the left. So three, as you know, is higher than two, two is higher than one, one is higher than zero, and you have to remember this, guys, zero is higher than minus one, minus one is higher than minus two and minus two is higher than minus three. The same thing goes, as I told you, when you have a vertical number line. So let's say we have zero, one, two, and then zero minus one and minus two. Two, as you know, is higher than one. One is higher than zero, but zero is higher than minus one, and minus one is higher than minus two, right? Because numbers that are above another number in the number line are higher. So you have to remember that when writing your number line. Now we're gonna see the uses of the number line. Why is it useful? The first thing is that you can actually compare numbers that are less or greater than other numbers. How? Well, we just have to remember that numbers, as I told you, to the right are going to be higher than numbers on the left. So if we have three, we know that three is going to be higher than minus one. And that for example, minus one is going to be higher than minus three. We just have to keep that in mind. The number line can also be written down in steps by skipping numbers. So if for example, you want to write down numbers in intervals of five, it goes zero plus five or five plus 10 or 10 and 15 and then minus five, minus 10, and minus 15. It's usually tricky when you're beginning to learn about the number line because you often forget that, for example, a number like five is going to be higher than minus 10, or that a number that, like zero is going to be higher than minus 15. So you have to remember, if a number is to the right, that means it's going to be higher. Okay? So that's the first use. Then 
we can use it to compare or finding rational numbers. And we're going to see that here. So you can also find fractions or you can find decimals. We can also understand the concept of absolute value, which I'm going to be talking a little bit in this video and we'll have a single video to explain this topic. Number four, we can use it to add, subtract, multiply, or divide integers. These are going to be videos on their own because it's very, very important to know about these concepts using the number line. So comparing numbers that are less or greater than others, how do we do that? Well, as I told you, a number like two is going to be higher than minus one because two is on the right side, right? So a number like zero is going to be higher than minus three because zero is on the right side to minus three. A number like minus five is going to be higher than a number like minus 100, of course, because minus 100 is going to be way on the left compared to a number like minus five. So you have to remember, guys, whenever we have a positive number, you just continue doing what you already know. So a number like 10 is higher than five. But as you can see with negative numbers, minus five is higher than minus 10. So you have to remember, if we are comparing two negative numbers, if the number's absolute value is higher, but the number is negative, it's going to be less than another number because it's going to be on the left of the number line. What about rational numbers, okay? So let's say we're comparing two numbers like, for example, one half and minus one half. So the same logic applies. If one half or 0 0.5 is actually on the right side to minus one half or minus 0 0.5, we know that one half is going to be greater than minus one half because one half is on the right side. So it's the same, it's the same type of logic. When we write down our number line, we can actually write it down in whatever intervals we want, as I told you before. So we can write it down in intervals of one or point one, like I'm doing right now on the screen. You can do it however you want. Just keep it in mind that on the right side, if the line is horizontal, we're going to have the positive numbers. And on the left side, we're going to have negative numbers. You can also add expansions to the number line you're using. Like for example, in this case, we can write down the intervals from one to two to remember that, for example, a number like 1.5 is higher than a number like 1.2. And you can do that with fractions as well. Now, to understand the concept of absolute value is usually um, pretty simple. But guys, you just have to remember that the concept of absolute value just means that whenever we have the absolute value of, of a number, positive or negative, the outcome is still going to be positive. So the absolute value of 6 is going to be plus 6, and the absolute value of a number like minus 6 is going to still be plus 6. So it doesn't matter if the number is positive or negative, the absolute value is always going to be um, positive. So guys, please, please remember that. Another thing that is very, very important that you guys remember about the concept of absolute value is that, for example, if we have a number like four and a number like minus four, the reason that the absolute value of four and the absolute value of minus four is both positive four is because it actually um, counts the number of steps between those two numbers and zero. So from zero to minus four, you have one, two, three, four spaces, and between one and four, you're gonna have one, two, three, and four. If you guys want to learn more about the concept of absolute value by using the number line, stay tuned for next videos. Thank you so much guys for watching today's video. If you found it useful, don't forget to leave a like and a comment. It really helps the community grow and keep uh, myself in touch with you guys. Also, 
please please remember that you can always feel free to rewatch if you don't understand any concept and stay tuned for next video bye guys check out these other videos to improve your math skills and make sure you click that subscribe button to make the community grow follow omath god in its social media accounts drop a like a comment below and see you on the next one bye